Hello and welcome to another first impressions, this time of a very exciting stove. It's, it's very exciting, it's also um, problematic. I can hardly move, I have put my back out um, and uh, that's because this thing obviously has some weight to it. Um, Uh, so we have a wonderful assistant who is, yes, heavily pregnant uh, and that's because I can't open the doors or lift anything out. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you very much for tuning in. We are looking at the Charlton and Jenrick Bake Chef, which I'm really excited about. God willing, I will wake up tomorrow and my back will work, and then I will be able to make something in here, uh, which uh, even though, you know, weather is not necessarily fully stove weather, I'm, I'm loving the fact that I can light this up. Am I being really stupid? Where does the fire go? The fire goes in the top. In the top. Yeah. So they've got that shelf in there, yeah. which... If you burned down to embers, yes, you could effectively perhaps barbecue in there, right. or, 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 or you know. Um, oh, I see. So this shelf comes out. It, ordinarily, yes, that shelf right. will come out. It's very deep. It is deep, isn't it? What have we got? And I like that I can open the door properly. Oh. Oh, I can't move properly, but. <laughs> Gloves. Those are huge. Do, are they not like significantly longer? Yeah, they are. They go like right up your forearm. Well, I guess that's quite good because it is quite deep. This looks like a Defra kit. A little block for the air vent in there. Am I right in thinking the air vents were on the top of the stove? The air yeah. I, I spotted those when I sort of cowered over it <laughs> um, after I broke my back. Oh, I quite like that. They look quite exciting. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see whether they... They're quite clearly marked and they say fire, one's for the fire, one's for the oven. Oh, OK. Oh, well, one is directing heat towards the oven, I assume. Because they, it, often in cookers, they have baffles that will drive the smoker out. Right. different way to maximise heat into the oven or not. One's got like more resistance. Is that the air vent? That's the fire one. Yes, so that's controlling the fire because that's... The, the other one presumably is just a baffle moving. Oh, I see. It's just opening and closing, yeah, whereas the, the other, other one is you're gauging where you want the air vent to place. And then this... Oh, it's exciting. We've got a proper, proper hot, hot plate. plate. This is such a... kettle a... on it? Oh, mate, yes. I do have a kettle. I've got a cast iron kettle. Oh, I'm going to have to try that. We've got some, some nail varnish, some paint. Touch-up paint. And we've got a tool. Do you want to open the tool? Uh, I would if I could. However, I can't. Does it looks like that might go into the what's that tray thing at the base? Does it take the whole tray out? And then the whole Oh good gracious. That's quite deep. Yeah, that whole thing will come out. So effectively the grate is inside that ash pan. The grate and the ash pan, the whole lot yeah. comes out in one. Take it all out. Oh. This is quite a different video. I've I've never had I've never had this experience before. <laughs> it has made me think. Perhaps I need to care slightly for um, uh, the weights that I move about. I think this weighs about two hundred kilos, so it is perhaps the heaviest thing we've ever had in here. Um, we did have to do some fun manoeuvres, didn't we? Uh, yes, <laughs> I 
I did things that were not completely sensible. I can't. Straight in there. That's it. I mean, I don't think I'd want to use that. Well, you're going to need some real strength. Perhaps it's for a, a manly man such as myself to do. A manly man. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I think I would definitely be using gloves and taking that out when it's cold. How's the oven size? The oven size? Yeah. It's good. Would that fit a pan in, like, you know, one of your normal oven pans? Yeah, I thought so, yeah. That's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Can we cook dinner in it? Yeah. If we get it to, like, the same temperature, you can tell me what temperature I've got to get it to. And then you'll cook me dinner. <laughs> um, well, I was sort of hoping that I could sit there and... <laughs> and watch. And, and watch <laughs> once a month during the times you're using it a lot or, mm. you know, yeah. more of the time. Um, you're going to lift that whole thing out, clear it out, chuck it straight back in. It is quite... You know, I know there's a little bit of faff there, and it's quite big and heavy, but it's a, you know, this is a big cooker. Mm. It's a very functional tool. This is not, you know, this is like having an Arger or a Rayburn. It's a, you Are know, it's a big thing. How much heat goes down? Because generally, we, I sort of think of heat. He, heat rising. rises, yeah. Um, but so that's what those baffles are for. Right. So what you do is you you don't you don't have it at the start mm. because you want. Um, you've got to light the stove, so you want the smoke to suck up the chimney and get that whole thing working. Once the chimney's at operating temperature, you've got a powerful suck on that chimney. So then if you flick the baffle, it can then direct the smoke around a much longer path around your oven, right. but the power of the chimney is what forces that to all occur. Now, I haven't this is my first impressions of this stove, so I haven't looked at the internal design. I don't know that to be the case, but I very much expect that to be the case because, you know, that would be the norm. Um, I've got a nice temperature gauge here. Yeah, what temperature does it go to in centigrade? 350. 350? Okay. Or just above. Yeah, well, you... I mean, if you ever got the oven to 350, you've, you've gone too far. Um, and the hole inside of the stove's probably bright red. Um, mm. But, it, you know, it, it does at least imply that this stove is capable of yeah, yeah. proper high temperatures. And certainly the hot plate at the top, I don't think there's going to be any struggle to no. boiling a kettle or anything. What do you think of the look of it? It's quite... Um, it, there's a certain crudeness to it because, you know, these hinges are just sort of yeah. welded on to steel doors. So it, it, it is quite simple. I'm, I like that. Um, you know, very functional tools that look quite functional are, mm -hmm. are part of it. Um, uh, so I, I, yeah, I like that. It's, it's not, it's not the sort of, um, you know, glossy agar, is it? No. An agar is, is all sort of uniform, very, very glossy, very, very beautifully mm. finished. And this, this isn't that. This is quite different. This is um, uh, much more stove-like. Um, so, yeah, much more me. My parents have an agar mm. and... You know, I'm sure it's wonderful, um, but it's this is a bit more me because I can play with it more. I like the bake chef at the bottom. I'm less keen on this. It's getting very pernickety. Yeah, I, I just I'd rather it had one thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. You know, I get why they've done it. It's mm. it's their you know okay. that's the company. This is the name of the stove, but. Um, Thankfully, it's quite nicely riveted on there. And so, you know, you could remove that if, if it offended you um, without sort of disrupting the whole look of everything. I probably shouldn't be saying that. Yeah. should be very pro it. It's brilliant, <laughs> as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that's for. I did spot that and think, what's that for? 
because these nicely these have all got ring hand you know spring handles so mm. they should actually stay relatively cool does I that think... doesn't fit into those controls at the top or anything i thought it might be for that open up the the top as well is there one in the middle of that so that that prong is for removing yeah. the hot plates because when when this is being serviced all of that will need you know you sweep your chimney yeah you will typically clean all of that out as well and so it's got rear ones it's got ones under there yeah. oh that's very well thought out i like it we've worked it out yeah. well i'm very excited to cook tea on this what should we have for tea what yeah what could we do we can cook everything on this <laughs> We can have breakfast on this in the morning. Oh, should we have a cooked breakfast? We all have a cooked breakfast. I want to do... Once I've burned down to, like, um, charcoal, I want to do burgers in there. Burgers, you love burgers. What about... Mm, do yeah. you, could I do a roast in there? A roast? Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, it's going to be such an exciting one. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, if you've got any ideas, if you want, if you have any suggestions, chuck them in the comments because this is obviously a long way from the average sort of stove. So a very, very exciting one for us to play around with. And thank you very much for watching. If you, um, yeah, if you want to like and subscribe to me, that would be very very helpful because i'm told that i should ask for that occasionally uh which i'm very bad at and um if you want to uh send send your best wishes to my back <laughs> i will be very grateful because uh yeah if if this continues my wife has told me it won't work for our marriage um because <laughs> she's already in a wheelchair a lot of the time not all the time but a lot of the time and uh, and if I can't help her get upstairs, uh, then it's going to be curtains. <laughs>